Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project course. And in this video, we'll be talking about calling test within test steps. In our last video, we saw there are three step types exist in test project, something like element actions, actions and test. And we also saw that the step type test can call another test and we can execute the test from there. But we did not see this in action. The reason is because we had to discuss so much of things on the element action as well as in the action side. So this video is fully dedicated to run the test within test and we'll see how things work. The most important things to note in here is in iOS test currently you can only call and test within another test which is for same application type. So you cannot call a different application within another test because it really doesn't make any sense here that you can run an application of different type within your current application. But this is possible still in Android by calling a different bundle and then you can run that. We'll be seeing that in our next video or so. But as of now, be informed that you can only run test of same application within another application using this particular option. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Chrome browser. All right, so now I am in my test project account and then I'm going to go to the Exit Automation test project once again. And this is our iOS test that we have been executing so far in our course. So now I will quickly show you how this particular test will run. Once you start clicking this particular record thing, it's going to launch the YouTube application for us. If you try to execute this particular test, it is going to run the test for us, right? Let me show it to you that as well. All right, so as you can see, the test project test has been executed and it is currently executing without any problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create or call another test within this particular test. So basically what I'm trying to do is, as you can see, there is a common operation in here. So for instance, once we try to search for anything in here within our YouTube application, this one, maybe I'm just going to pass the recording here. So for instance, if I want to test the settings of the application, so for instance, I need to click this particular uh, login here. So that's going to bring me this particular settings. And then I'm going to go to the settings and then I'm going to close the settings and then I'm going to go back to the home page. So if I want to test this particular scenario, the settings scenario, I can do this in here without any problem, but in order to make the same kind of operation in a different test, and if I want to use the setting test within the current test that we got, we can use the option of using the existing steps in here. So what I'm going to do is this time, I'm just going to save and exit this guy, and I'm going to create a new test this time, and let's call this as YouTube setting test, and I'm going to hit next, choose the iOS, and I can reuse the YouTube application this time, the existing YouTube application that we got. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to hit record. And I'm going to record just the setting of the YouTube application so that I can reuse the settings within my existing test. All right. As you can see, the YouTube application has been launched. I need to reset the application to clear the catch. And now I'm going to start recording the settings action. So I'm just going to click this guy for the account and then I'm going to click the settings so you can see whatever I do here the actions are being recorded and then I'm just going to close the setting so that I will fall back to the home page once again this one right so I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to save and exit but before that you can see that we have a step here called reset app so if we call this particular reset app, what happens is this particular test, every time we're going to reuse this particular test, the existing test will be intermittently stopped and then it will reopen and then it will just test the settings. Instead of resetting the app, we can just disable this for now so that I don't really have to call the reset application in the test where I'm going to run this. So this is going to be reset and then I'm going to save and exit. And then I'm going to go back to my original test, the iOS test. And then I'm going to call the test that we created just now, the setting test. So I'm just going to create a step here and I'm going to add a comment here to test the settings option. And the type here is going to be test this time instead of the element action. 
and the test I'm going to select is going to be the YouTube setting test, right? So I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to hit create. So you can see that the YouTube setting test has been created in here. And now if I try to execute this particular test, so what will happen is it's going to reset the app and then it's going to perform the existing operation that we already got. And once this last step has been executed, this one, the first element thing, then it is going to go to the reset app. But the problem here is, I guess this one is going to select the test project that we have selected from the option of the search and then it won't be in the home page. So basically what we should do is if you could see here, if I click this and if I click this test project, it's going to be in this page. So I will miss the user account option there. So what I should do is probably I should either click the home button to go back to the home so that I can do the account navigation. So I'm just going to do a resume recording. I'm just going to hit this home so that it will take me to the home of the YouTube app. There we go. I'm going to pause this recording and this one should be dragged and dropped in here so that it will formulate a step here. And now if I try to execute this test, hopefully this time it should run the test without any problem. So basically it is going to run the test, the original test of us, and also it is going to call the setting test for us. So you can see it has came to the home and now it's going to search for a test project. It's going to select the first option and then it should click the home as well. So it came to the test project, clicking the home and now it should click the settings which is going to be from the account login option. There you go. You can see that it has been clicked, which is amazing. And the setting has popped up and it also closed that. So you can see that this time we are actually using three steps embedded within this particular test step that we have. So basically this is calling another test within our present test so that we can reduce the number of steps here. So you can modularize your test based on some complex modules and then you can call them in one single gigantic scenario so that you can execute the test without any problem. So this is how you can reuse the existing application, existing steps within your test and you can reduce the number of steps and you can increase the workflow options. So this is how we can leverage the test project power within your test cases. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.